CataractCoach.com, Mini Rexus with the FACO handpiece. So we're creating a Caps Rexus just with the suction from the FACO probe. Check it out. So intermescent cataract, white cataract here. A couple of pairs of teeth going in, tripan blue dye. Yes, we've sped the video up so it can be efficient. Now put some viscoelastic inside the eye. All looks pretty routine. Here comes the main incision. And let's see the technique here. Now, the technique's gonna be using the FACO probe suction. So use the FACO probe with suction. The FACO is not on FACO mode, it's on IA mode. Now using a small needle to puncture centrally. There you go, puncture the capsule. And once you get a little bit of a flap, using the vacuum with your foot pedal control to decompress the bag first. Now using that same FACO probe, gently, gently grab that capsule. And with the suction of the FACO probe, you're holding the capsule as you tear a small rexus here. Look at this control. Wow, that that's going to take some coordination. If you're a new surgeon, you may not want to try this. That's going to be a tough technique. I'll try it, but that's not a simple one. Now you have the double rexus technique. Once the first rex is done, let's snip into the edge here and create the overall larger rexus that you desire. So here's about a five millimeter rexus. That looks great. And once you've aspirated out that liquefied lens cortex, that lens milk, or most of it, you've really decompressed the bag and you've decreased your risk of having an Argentinian flag sign or capsule run out dramatically. So there you go. Reco with the, endo the endothelium with viscoelastic. I like that idea. Here comes the Faker probe. This is a dense cataract. Let's see the technique here. So let's see a little bit of a groove down the middle. Let me see another groove from partial groove. Maybe just creating a pit here. You can bury the FACO probe. I bet you that's the technique. Let's see. So, yeah, a little bit of a pit. Or is it a full groove? All right, a little bit of a pit. There it is. And here's a horizontal chop, sharp-looking chopper there. And, again, these cataracts tend to be brunescent, tend to be fibrous. It's hard to really propagate the chop all the way through. And you can have that posterior plate there on the back end of the nucleus. So, again, doing multiple chops like this is probably your best bet. Oh, that looks good. And see how they're still attached centrally, kind of like the, the flowers of a rose or of, uh, uh, the petals of a rose? Yeah, more and more chops is a great idea. And in taking your time, they're separating those out. You've got a nice strong rexus. So you don't have to worry about that. And I like this technique of just repeated chops. And so, again, these pieces, it's hard to bring a piece up right now because they may not be fully separated. But the more chops you do, the more you break away that posterior plate. Now, let me tell you about Retina Rounds, our sister channel. That's with my good friend, Dr. Pradeep Prasad, an amazing retina specialist. But he teaches such basic techniques that even a cataract surgeon like me can understand and enjoy those videos. Check it out. I promise you're going to learn a lot. You're going to love it. Now, going back here, now that you've had all those chops, and now there it is, getting that base of the first piece up, and once you get that first piece up, the rest should come out a lot easier. But you can see how it still wants to be a little bit attached at the bottom. That's okay. Just debulk as much as you can. You're creating some room here. And now once you create this room, you can, yep, go right down to the base of this. And that's where he's applying the vacuum to really break that, that adherent posterior plate here. And these pieces up come up very nicely. So neat technique here. There's so many different methods of addressing an intermescent white cataract. I'm always impressed to see the ingenuity of our ophthalmologists around the world coming up with these neat ideas. So now you've seen a baby Rex or mini Rex is done with the suction from the FACO probe. Now remember, the FACO probe was be used, but it was used in cortex removal or IA mode. So no matter how much you push it on the pedal, you're not gonna get position three, which is you don't wanna give ultrasound energy and break up that capsular uh, leaflet that you're folding over here. Here's the last bit of, of nucleus coming up. Notice there's no cortex. That's all been liquefied and removed earlier. Wow, clean looking case here. This patient's obviously is gonna be super happy to go from that probably light perception cataract to normal vision with a, in the course of a beautiful surgery like this. Plus, we had the fun of getting to perform this surgery. Here comes the lens. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens going in the capsule bag. Beautiful result. Thanks for sharing the video. Hey, check out retinarounds.com, our sister channel. I promise it's so good, you're going to love it. Thank me later.